Hey everybody and welcome back to another Kraken Packs video. I am your host, Mr. Rivers. That's right, we're back with the final box. Box number six of our Ravnica Allegiances case. That's right, it's the last box of our case. We haven't hit a foil mythic yet, so maybe this is the box. It would be nice to walk away with a foil mythic from this set, right? Maybe a foil Crassus, maybe that's too much to ask. Okay, I'll take a foil Domri. I'll take a foil Do Dovin. Sure, that's fine. Hell, I'll take a foiled Biogenic Ooze. That's fine with me, too. I mean, I would even take a foil Captive op Audience, right? But we all know we're going to get, like, a foil Emergency Powers or something like that, right? That's that's probably what will end up happening, right? Let's take all of the packs out of the box like so. Set them off to the side and let's get cracking. Let's get cracking. We also want to hit a foil Shockland, which would be nice. I mean, I I guess I, I mean, what do I say? I want two foil rares out of this, a foil Mythic and a foil Shockland. I mean, that's a little bit greedy, isn't it? Sphinx of the new Prov, Screaming Shield, Combine Guild Mage, and Nikia of the Old Ways. With a Grull Guild Gate and a token. Good old Skewer. Sharkdo Crab, a Clamor Shaman. Orzov Enforcer and Lavinia, Azorius Renegade, Zombie Token, and an Orzov Guildgate. We got an Eyes Everywhere. We got an Essence Capture. We got a Combine Guild Mage. We got Cinder Vines. And we got a Foil Dagger Caster. First foil of the box. First foil of the box, and it's an uncommon, so that's not too bad. Pretty nice. We got a Frilled Mystic, Ministrant of Obligation, Scrabbling Claws, and Tome of the Guild Pact. Interesting card. Not, like, particularly amazing, but it's not terrible. Clamor Shaman, Swirling Torrent, Macabre Mockery, and... Precognitive Perception. With an ooze token and a Grull Guild Gate. Alright. Let's see. What else are we going to find here? High Alert. Orzov Racketeers. Essence Capture again. And Mirror March with a foil Justicar's Portal. With an Illusion Squid token and an Orzorius Guild Gate. Alright. We're going to rip through this box. That's the plan. Ministrant of Obligation, Carnival and Carnage, Resolute Watchdog, and Judith the Scourge Diva. What do we got here? Hackrobat as our first uncommon. Spire Mangler, Clan Guild Mage, Immolation Shaman as our rare. With another Azorius Guildgate. Alright, we are... Screaming Shield, Orzov Enforcer, Rumbling Ruin, and Glass of the Guild Pact. With another Azorius Guildgate. And a Spirit Token. Alright. Trollbred Guardian, Bullrack Clan Crusher, Sphinx of the Guild Pact, and Gutter Bones with a nice Domri emblem and a Simic Guild Gate. All right. What do we got here? Skatewing Spy. This is a standout card in Limited. Amazing. Dovin's Acuity, Scrabbling Claws, and Unbreakable Formation. Simic, Guildgate, and a zombie token. All right. That's our, there's our uncommons. Gyre Engineer, Enraged Ceratok, Collision, and Colossus. And our rare, Benthic Biomancer, with a foil Azoria's Guildgate. Good old foil Azoria's Guildgate. And a Rakdos Guildgate and a Frog Lizard. We are now one third of the way through the box. No Mythics, no Shocklands. And uh, we haven't even hit any of the Uncommons of Note. So this box is not shaping up to be super amazing. Now, that, that being said, 
Never underestimate the last half of the box, that's for sure. Orzov Racketeers, we've had many boxes turn around on us halfway through, or even in the last, like, six to seven packs. Collision Colossus, Fireblade Artist, and Theater of Horrors as our rare, with an Ooze Token and an Orzov Guild Gate. All right. Grawl Beastmaster, Senate Guild Mage, Regenesis, and B-Devil. B-Devil. With a Spirit Token and an Azorius Guild Gate. All right. What's next? Clear the Stage is our first uncommon. Rakdos Firewheeler, Blood Mist Infiltrator, and Mass Manipulation. With a Thopter Token and a Rakdos Guild Gate. All right, are we gonna get the no mythic box? That'd be pretty funny to end the end the end the case with a no mythic box. Windstorm Drake, Cry of the Carnarium, Dovin's Acuity, and Smothering Tithe. Beast token and an Orzov Guildgate. All right, box. Quit holding out on me. Senate Guild Mage, Sharkdo Crab, Smelt Ward Ignis, and. Ethereal Absolution. Not seeing a lot of play outside of Limited, but boy howdy, is it a friggin' bomb in Limited. Arcwing Angel, Daggercaster, Gates Ablaze, and Godless Shrine. There's our first Shockland. And our foil rare is a font of agonies. Oh, the agony. Oh, the agony. That is not the foil rare we wanted to see. We wanted to see a foil Shockland, didn't we? We sure did. Or a foil Mythic, I guess. Would have been nice. Windstorm Drake. Frilled Mystic. Spirit of the Spires. And Breeding Pool. Back-to-back -back Shocklands in the middle row here. Halfway down the middle row. Let's see. Pitless Pointif. Skate Wing Spy. Syndicate Guild Mage and Verity Circle. Card's interesting. I've seen it played in Limited a couple times, and I'm always kind of like underwhelmed by what it does. But then there's a couple times where I've seen it just like completely, just like completely black out an opponent essentially. Like just they like you can't do anything, and they're like, huh, yeah, that's fair. Basilica Bell Haunt, Bankrupt in Blood, Macabre Mockery, and Lavinia, a second copy of Lavinia. My goodness. Two copies of Lavinia, and we haven't even hit a Mythic yet. This is not going well for us. All right, we've got a Rally to Battle. Sphinx of New Parav, Regenesis, and Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Well then, we are now almost two-thirds of the way through this box. Two-thirds of the way through this box. We've got Consecrate and Consume. Cult Guild Mage. Tower Defense, and Awaken the Erstwhile. We've got an Ooze Token and an Azorius Guild Gate. All right. Bankrupt in Blood, Pitless Pointif, Cry of the Carnarium, and there's our first Mythic, Seraph of the Scales. We'll take it because it's still a pretty nice card. It's pretty pricey right now. It, uh, I think it's, what, the second highest Mythic? Maybe? I think that's what I saw last time I looked, and I was I was actually kind of taken aback. So we did hit a Mythic, so we didn't get a no Mythic box, so that's good. Now, still, a one Mythic box is still pretty terrible when the average is about four. Biogenic Upgrade, Flames of the Raised Boar, Wall of Lost Thoughts, and Biomancer's Familiar. All right, so the last third of this box is holding out on us. We're, 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 we're looking for probably three or four more foils. We're looking for three or four more Mythics. We're hoping that we're going to see a Foil Mythic in this box because we didn't open a Foil Mythic in any of our other boxes from this case. Depose and Deploy. Rally to Battle. Tower Defense. And Blood Crypt. All right. We hit a third Shockland, so that's not terrible. We'll take a Shockland. The Shocklands have come down a lot in price since the reprinting of these ones. Um, but still. Mortify. Sky Tether, Azorius Skyguard, and Warrant and Warden as our rare there. But we did have a foil here. 
A foil feral maca. And a Simic Guild Gate with a goblin token. Alright. Well, well, folks, it all comes down to these last eight packs. Consecrate and Consume, Drill Bit, Knight of the Last Breath, and Tasa, good old Tasa Karlov, with a human token and an Orzov guild gate. Woo! Woo! Let's see. Can we get there? Can we get there? I don't know if we can get there. Biogenic Upgrade, Junk Troller, Incubation and Incongruity, and... And end raise forerunners. Oof. Oof a doofa. Oof a doofa, everyone. Let's see. Mortify again. We still haven't hit any of the uncommons of note. We've got seven packs left, and we've hit none of the uncommons. No Terramander. No Wild Reclamation. Uh, sorry, no Wilderness Reclamation. No uh, Rhythm of the Wilds. And no... Oh, what is the other uncommon? There's another uncommon, and I can't think of it right now. Gate Breaker Ram. And our... Oh, another mythic! Skargan Hellkite. There it is. With a centaur and a Simic Guild Gate. All right, we've hit two mythics. Two mythics. We have five... Six packs left? Six packs left. Galloping Lizrog, Cavalcade of Calamity, Knight of the Last Breath, and Dovin Grand Arbiter. Dovin is shot up as the highest walker in this set right now, so that's okay with me. That is okay with me. Alright, we've got a Dagger Caster, High Alert, Blood Mist Infiltrator, and Sphinx of Foresight. Hey, we got a Foil Gate Colossus. Alright. Foil Gate Colossus is a thing, probably. I mean, it's not, like, super exciting, but the Gate decks are definitely playing Gate Colossus. So, I mean, like, there is that. I don't think Gate Colossus really sees any play outside of the Gates deck right now, and, and also limited, right? Like, I don't... I feel like Gate Colossus is not going to see play in any other format, really. Galloping Lizrog, Arcway Angel, Terramander. Look at that, our first uncommon of note, and a Tithe Taker. My goodness. So we're still short a Mythic. We have three packs left. We're short a Foil Mythic from this case, which is unfortunate. There it is. Light at the Stage. That's the one I couldn't remember. Light at the Stage. There it is. Our first copy of Light at the Stage. And another copy of Terramander. Flames of the Razebore, Terramander, and then Grull Spellbreaker. And we got another Foil. Rampaging Rendhorn. Holy moly, I say. Two packs left. Short one Mythic. Short a number of uncommons. The fact that we've opened a whole box and haven't hit any any Rhythm of the Wilds or Wild Reclamation is pretty hilarious. Hackrobat, Sky Tether, Azorius Skyguard, and Lumbering Battlement. Holy moly. Well, folks, I think we're going to have a non foil mythic case and a short on mythic box. We're definitely short on uh, uncommons from this box as well. Ministrant of, of Obligation, Tin Street Dodger, Forbidding Spirit, and last rare, if it's not a mythic, we're short mythics. And it's an Incubation Druid. And again, no foil here either. Wowza. So our last box was not amazing. We're short a mythic. We got three. That's below average of the four that we were seeing in most boxes. Some, some of our boxes had five, right? So I would say the average is four. So we're below average on Mythic count, right? We have, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven foils, which is, like, about average. We saw between seven and eight foils per, per box. Some of them had nine. Some of them had six. But, like, so this is right in the middle. We hit three um, Shocklands, which is average. But, like, the fact that we hit only <laughs> these three uncommons and didn't hit any of the other uncommons... Of note, like, let me just go back through here and just make sure I didn't, like, miss something. But, like, we didn't hit any of the green en enchantments that are worth a dollar or more, right? We only hit two Terramanders and one Light of the Stage, right? 
because like we're expecting to see wild reclamation or wilderness reclamation and rhythm of the wilds right and we didn't see any we saw literally zero of those out of an entire box so let this be a lesson to all of you out there even if you're looking for uncommons from a set you're better buying singles because you can even open up a whole box and miss some of the uncommons from a set like you might not even get one of right like you think you should probably end up with one of every common out of a box maybe maybe you'd be short a couple commons maybe a couple uncommons but like you know when we hit two terror manders one light up the stage no wilderness reclamation no uh rhythm of the wilds it's pretty rough right and then i mean we don't hit we only hit three mythics this was a pretty pretty mediocre box it's uh, this is boxes on the low end for sure um now there are some pretty decent rares that we opened as well i mean like Bi benthic biomancer is good bedevil is good um well i guess that's i mean there's a couple others that are like okay judith is good cinder vines is probably fine um tide taker is good incubation druid is good so i mean you know it's not the worst box could definitely have been worse if we hadn't opened any mythics, that's for sure. But, I mean, even our foil rare was, like, kind of junk. Font of Agonies is not, like, anything super exciting to write home about. Um, yeah. What a box, eh? What a box to end this, the end the case. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I have been your host, Mr. Rivers. I hope you enjoyed this video and this series of Ravnica Allegiances boxes. There will be no more full boxes of Ravnica Allegiances opened on this channel. Uh, at least not, not planned, anyway. Don't forget, if you want to help support the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. I do have a Patreon where you can sign up for things like grab bags, booster boxes, bundles. All of the magic tiers get a discount code to my store, nerdvanastore.ca, for all of your single needs. So if you're looking for any singles and that kind of stuff, go check out the site. Um, the newest sets are not up on the site yet, but they should be up probably by the end of March. Um, I'm hoping to have most of my stuff, most of my inventory up and available for sale. Um, so hopefully that's the case. If not, you can always ping me on YouTube or Twitter or whatever and, and be like, hey, what are you doing? Why haven't you put these on your site yet? And I'll be like, oh yeah, right. I need to get to that. It, it's a very, uh, it's a very um, tedious thing to do, and but I like doing it. So there you go. Hopefully you all had a good time. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, may your pulls ever be better.